Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I've created this makeup look with all my recently purchased makeup products. So this video is going to be a first impression kind of video and parallelly, I'm going to give my thoughts and review about those particular products. So without wasting time, let's quickly jump into the video and before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the bell icon. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, then this is my Insta handle. Please do check out my instagram page and follow me there as well so without any further delay let's quickly jump to the video before getting into the video on my nails i am wearing black me 9 to 5 primer plus gloss nail color in shade what is the shade lime treat so this is the shade I'm wearing on my nails. So for people, those who have asked about this shade in my previous video, so this is what I'm using. You can definitely go ahead and purchase it. So the first product that I'm going to talk about is this one. It is the Mars Hydra Glow Primer. This one is a beautiful liquidy primer. I really, really love this one. This one has got very thin liquid consistency, which is absolutely stunning. And the formula of this particular primer is so good. It is very soft on the skin. Like like post application the skin looks very soft and uh, it's very very hydrating as well so if you have dry skin or if you're on the oily skin side looking for a hydrating primer then I would highly recommend you to try this product it's so so good I really love the fragrance of this product it has got that beautiful candy kind of smell it to be very specific it smells more like boomer if you're a 90s kid you would know what boomer is so for color corrector i'll be using this swiss beauty orange color corrector so this one is basically swiss beauty's concealer shade orange and uh, you know this is one of their recent launch i really love swiss beauty products and i thought of giving this a shot so i picked it quickly as soon as it is available so now i'm quickly going to apply this on the areas where i have hyperpigmentation and dark spots um like most of my face is with hyperpigmentation and dark spots right now all because of my imbalanced lifestyle so if you're getting a lot of issues on your skin right then it means that you're not having enough sleep or you're not consuming your food properly or if your daily routine is not proper then the first thing that would happen is you will get a lot of skin issues so you need to be very careful if you want really good skin then you need to be very careful with your lifestyle and food habits so yeah now i'm color correcting i'm not going to touch both these acne like it's two bulb on either side of the face um so I'm just simply color correcting in my dark circle and hyperpigmented areas. That's it. I'm not going to touch any of the acne marks or, you know, active acne that I have on my skin. Also, if you're in your teenage or if you're getting new acne, don't, don't ever pop your acne or don't even touch it. That is a better thing you can do to your skin because if you touch your acne or if you pop it, then the problem is going to turn really worse i myself have done a lot of that and that is why my skin went to an extremely extremely bad state and also don't physically scrub your skin when you have acne even if you don't have acne do not ever use physical scrub it's not at all good for your skin now we are done with the color correction part next i'm quickly going to use a foundation and again this one is one of the recent launch so for foundation i'm going to use rimmel lasting finish foundation and shade toffee so this is how the shade looks this is the first time i'm going to apply it on my skin so i think that the shade is going to suit me so let me check it i think it's a really good match this one is basically a hydrating foundation because in the bottle it has been mentioned like 25 hour hydration boost nobody is going to be a foundation for 25 hours but let's check whether it's really hydrating foundation or not Thank you. 
Okay, now we're done with the foundation. The next, I'm going to use a blush. Again, this is one of the recent launch, and it is from the brand called Swiss Beauty. It is their new professional blusher. So this is how the blush looks like and I have picked the shade called Glaze Bronzing and this one is such a pretty stunning shade and uh, it somewhat resembles me of Bronzing Glaze from Color Bar and this one is named as Glaze Bronzing. Now I'm going to take a blush brush and this one is the pack 214 blush brush and I'm going to take this blusher. This shade Glaze Bronzing is not a matte blush. It has a very subtle sheen to it so I'm quickly going to apply it on my skin. I really really love this shade and it's so gorgeous so if you're of deeper complexion I would highly recommend you to try this shade and it's very very affordable I think this one retails for 250 bucks so if you're looking for a really good affordable blusher then you can definitely try this so now we're done with the eyebrows next for eyeshadow I'll be using the smarts I belong in your purse eyeshadow palette in Varian soft glam so this is how the shade looks like it has got this beautiful soft shade so if you're looking for a really subtle eye makeup then you can definitely try this one and I'm going to start by picking this shade so I'm going to use it as a transition shade on my crease area And I'm going to take the same shade on the, the lower eyelids as well. Next, I'm going to use the shade to add some depth. Next, I'm going to take uh, this soft champagne shade and then I'm going to apply it from the inner corner till the middle of my eyelids and then I'm going to blend it. Next, I'm quickly going to take the same shade with a pointing brush and then I'm going to apply it on the inner corner of my eyelids and then a little bit on my brow bone area. Next, for my kajal, I'm going to use this Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. Now this one is extremely jet black in shade. This eyeliner is so pigmented. It has got this intense black pigmentation. Now I'm going to tightline my upper and lower waterline using this kajal. Next for my eyeliner, I'm going to use this Lacme Iconic Eyeliner. I really love the way this eyeliner works. It has got this very thin tip and it's very, very flexible. So you can draw very thin lines. So basically, if you're struggling with drawing thin lines using your eyeliner, I would highly recommend you to try this product and the Maybelline Colossal Eyeliner. Both have very thin and, uh, you know, very flexible tips so that you can draw a very fine line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a very thin line near my lash line. This is your lashes and this area is called this lash line. So I'm going to draw a very, very thin line. Next we are going to apply mascara and now I'm going to show you an amazing, amazing mascara. But this one is very less raved or less hyped. I don't know why it is not so hyped in the market because this one is such a stunning, amazing mascara. If you're watching this video, if you're planning to buy a really good quality mascara which gives you that voluminous, you know, lengthy, beautiful, wispy lashes then i would highly recommend you to try this one this is such such a stunning mascara so the product that i'm talking about is this one this is the face shop fresh in big mascara so this is how the wand of this mascara looks like so now you guys are going to see how this one is going to turn my eyelashes when i apply this mascara i don't even need false lashes because it just lift my lashes curls and then you know it gives it beautiful lengthened curled voluminous effect now you will see that 
so hope you guys can see the difference this eye is with mascara and this eye without mascara you know now you can see how this mascara widely open your eyes so yeah i really really love this product that's it we are into the final step and finally for my lipstick i'm going to use this one this is the spiss beauty uh, hd lipstick i think i'll put all the details in the description box you can definitely go ahead and check it there so this is a spiss beauty lipstick in shade brandy harrington so now i'm going to apply it on my lips So now I'm going to define my lips using a lip liner and for which I'll be using this Miss Claire Glimmer Stick Lip Liner in shade a Coffee Brown. So that's it we're done with this makeup look and this is how it turned out i really really love the way it looks it's very subtle very nice and it has this soft eye look along with this very beautiful subtle you know peachy pink lipstick and i defined it using a brown lip liner i really love how this makeup look turned out and to be very specific i really love the foundation it's so so good on skin even though it's a hydrating foundation it's not very heavy it's very very lightweight on my oily skin so all the products that i have purchased recently are so good hope you guys really love this content if you like it please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe immediately and also don't forget to click on the bell icon to receive all my updates on your notification box and also if you're not following me on instagram this is my insta handle do check out my insta page and follow me there as well so yes with that i'm signing off next time with another beautiful content i'll meet you guys and let's bye from priya bye bye